peering at passers-by from some of Lano's stores and city offices are painted deer, which are part of a community art project that was completed in June. The project took time and creativity in order to add to Lano's deer population, organizers said. Well, it started off, Cheryl Quallenberg and I were sitting in the rocking chairs over in Create, and, you know, we talked about, oh, we'd love to do a community project, and being recently from uh, the six years ago from New Mexico, I was in love with the Trail of the Painted Pony um, project. And at first, because you do see so many head mounts from the taxidermies, I, I said, well, Cheryl, you know, what do you think? Let's go to the taxidermy and get some of the blank mounts, have a few artists paint them, we can put them on the wall, and we'll sell them and make a little money. And she said, well, why should, why, why do we have to do that? Why don't we just do the full, you know, trail of the deer? The deer arrived unpainted from a Nebraska company in May. That left local artists only one month to paint the animals, cover them with a weatherproof protective coat, and move them down to Main Street on June 27th. That's when all six painted deer were unveiled to the public. Russell did it! Each artist was able to choose their own uh, design with, you know, somewhat of an approval because uh, the guild, I did want them to do a collaborative because, you know, I wanted them to do something that represented Lano. Uh, Jen Schwab, she does the Native Americans so well. Um, Lou and Cheryl came up with the money deer, you know, the big buck deer. I thought it was fabulous. They're, they're great people. And, and if anything that they turned out would be, be really wonderful, which it was. Janet Mason, one of our oldest artists, not not oldest up there, be careful how I say that, but one of our more established artists in town, uh, you know, she was so generously willing to, to donate, uh, you know, Lone Star Deer, so he's great. Um, you know, Russell and I, Russell being Native American Heritage and we love the Indian, you know, we decided to do uh, Warbuck, Ira, oh my gosh, Ira Kennedy, you know, I, I love saying, oh, we had an exhibit with Andy Warhol, but He's fabulous. He's fabulous. His art is mature. It's wonderful. It's professional, creative. He did a fabulous job. You know. So hopefully when people come through town, the first thing they'll want to do is go get a trail map from our website or from the chamber or from Circle Gallery and uh, go see all the deer. Chiesa said the deer will be shown at various sites around town until next February when they will be auctioned off to benefit local charities. For Highland Lakes Newspapers, this is Michael Freeman.